Now let's move on to our My Game On segment, which focuses on the latest esports news, reviews, and updates with a local twist. The Youth and Sports Ministry hopes that Malaysia will one day become an esports hub, not only in ASEAN but also that of Asia. Its minister Said Sadiq Said Abdul Rahman aims to tap into the billion-dollar industry and expand its growth in Malaysia to help the, with the country's youth development. Uh, just know that uh, Malaysia will be the next esports hub of ASEAN and of Asia. So I'll try my best to bring whatever facilities, investments, and development there is, so that uh, the esports gamers and players will have a place. So the two focus which I'm looking at is definitely the development and expansion of esports in Malaysia, and to talk about the issues of youth empowerment and uh, youth employment in Malaysia. He was speaking during a two-day work visit in Singapore where he will be visiting the country's youth hubs and also looking into building similar centres in Malaysia. Malaysia's youngest minister added that he will also look into ways to provide an environment for gamers to grow, including proper training, facilities, as well as altering the negative perception towards gaming as a career. Sadiq also believes that developing the esports market is crucial in order to help with developing the youth, especially in the ancillary industry, which included programming and information technology. Meanwhile, the youth and sports minister also attended Hyperplay, the first ever integrated ASEAN esports and music festival hosted at the Singapore Indoor Stadium. When asked whether Malaysia will host similar events in the near future, Sadiq expressed great enthusiasm in showing his support for the Malaysian esports community. Uh, definitely, I think uh, it's either the end of this year or next year, but I definitely would want to see more events, not just one, like this in Malaysia. The event also played host to the Hyperplay League of Legends semi-finals, with Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur Hunters taking on Philippines' acclaimed Empire X yesterday. After three intense rounds of power play, Kuala Lumpur Hunters came out on top with a 2-1 victory and will compete in the Grand Finals today.